afternoon baseball here on the show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Chicago White Sox and the Boston Red Sox. Coming to the plate now, Leori Garcia, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. The 3 1 hit to short. Bogarts has it. And an off balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. So the base is empty here with one away, and that'll bring up the former top prospect as a minor leaguer, Johan Moncada. The 1 1 home. Bases are empty, one man out. At the knees for a called strike, and it's back to even at two and two. Yeah, the rain starting to intensify here. It's coming down a little heavier now. We'll see how much longer the umpires can wait. Well, you could say that again, Matt. It's raining cats and dogs out there. Make sure you don't step in a pool. I think it's time to get the grounds crew out. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Running hard. He's digging for second. And he'll pull into second with one away. Batting third. The first by Tim Anderson. At the plate now, Tim Anderson. Smoked on the ground up the middle. On to Moreland, and that's in time for the second out. So a man at third here with two that's gone. Good. And up next, oh, the good. exciting Eloy Jimenez. Jimenez. The set and the 1-1. One, one. Hit the target, but this is low. 2-1. Two and one. Fly ball out toward right field. Verdugo is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Stepping into the box, Jose Peraza. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The one-two. Yeah, swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Next up for the Red Sox, Alex Verdugo. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. And great extension as he drives this one high in the air and deep the other way. Jimenez is back to the warning track, and he's able to put it away for the second out. Stepping up to the plate, J.D. Martinez. Looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Three and one to Martinez. They know the threat this guy possesses at the plate. I know it's 3 1 in this situation right here, but I can't imagine anything comes over the heart of the play. And a good job there to lay off. It's ball four as he becomes their first base runner of the ball game now with two away. The 1 2 is laid off for ball two. Hit in the air down the right field line. And that is off the wall, but in foul territory. Foul ball. The 2-2 one more time. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Lifted into the air out towards center field. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Edwin Encarnacion to the plate now. And he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. Ready with the one and one. If he's able to dot that sinker down and away and execute that pitch all day, you're going to see a lot of weak contact. And the infield defense is going to be on its toes. Still one and two as he fouls it away. 
Here it comes. Shoots this one over to first. Moreland is there. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And one of the more prolific RBI men in the league the last few years, Jose Abreu, will back next. Now the one and one pitch. It's in there for strike number two. Hit weakly back to the mound. And that's the second out. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that brings up the versatile Nomar Mazzara. To two and two now. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. And right into the shift. Bogarts has it. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. So striding in, Rafael Devers, as they'll have five, six, and seven here to start the home half of the second. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. And he fouls this one off. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. So one away here with the bases empty. And that'll bring up a man who's a human highlight reel defensively, Kevin Pillar. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. Now at the plate, Christian Vasquez. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Skied into straightaway right. Mazar is under it. And he makes the catch for the second out. So it's a runner at first with two gone. And Michael Chavis will step in at the plate. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes. And that will retire the side. So digging in now, Yosmani Grandal. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. The 3 1. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin inning number three. Batting nine. Ready now for the White Sox. Danny Mendick. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. And he takes strike three cold on the fastball. One gone. Digging in for his second at bat. Leori Garcia. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. The one two That's to two balls and two strikes now and you know the heavy stuff has finally arrived this has got to be the hardest rain we've seen all afternoon. On a line to shortstop, but the runner is back to avoid the double play. Ready for another chance? Yohan Moncada. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. And that's been their only hit so far in this one. They've been dealing with some really great pitching in this game. Two and one.
hard ground ball to third. Oh, and he has some trouble with it, and he'll go the short way to retire the side. Here's the first baseman now, Mitch Moreland, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch, but if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. And oh, he definitely broke the plane there as he went after the pitch inside, and it's strike two. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. And the throw to first is in time, one gone. Riding in once again, Jose Peraza. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Now a swing and a miss, maybe even a foul tip, but it's held onto behind the plate for out number two. The right fielder, and the next up will be Alex Verdugo. This guy's still looking at a zero in the hit column. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. Slider whiffed on for strike three, a great pitch to put an end to the inning. Next to bat will be Tim Anderson. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. In his career, Anderson hits a little over the 270 mark. In there, 2-2. Two and two. Coming down in buckets, cats and dogs, insert metaphor here, and the forecast is not showing any signs of relief. You know, one of the big issues is player safety, and right now this field is getting sloppy wet, Matt, and I don't know how much more rain this field can take. Now Digging that. in, Elo oh, Jimenez. Aloy. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Inside, he misses ball four. So one gone in the inning here with the runner at first. And that will bring up the power bat of Edwin Encarnacion. The 1-1 one, one home. Misses ball two. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. Looked like he got fooled on the speed there. Two and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. Hit down the line at first. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. A oh, double play ball to second. Four. One there. On to Moreland and they roll two to end the inning. Coming to the plate now, J.D. Martinez. He drew a walk his first time up. Here now the 2-2. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Looking up is the center fielder. Well, if you're going to get your first hit of the game, you might as well do it with a bang. He thought he could squeeze one past him, but he thought wrong. Stepping in now, Xander Bogarts. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. Hit the other way out toward right field. Mazzara's on the move. He dives, but he can't get it. And they'll keep it going here as he's in with a double. 
Now batting, the third baseman, Rafael Devers. So now to the plate, Rafael Devers. He pulls this one into right. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. Now the relay home. And he is in there at the plate. It's now a 2-0 game. A center fielder, number five. To the plate now, Kevin Pillar. Two and one, the count of Pillar. And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. The 2 2. Hit high and deep out there to left center field. Garcia is going to get back and he'll put this one away on the warning track for the first out. Now with the plate, Christian Vasquez. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The 2 1. Runners on the move for second. All even now, 2 and 2. From the belt, the pitch. Well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. The batter, the designated hitter, Michael. Standing in now, Michael Chavis. In the dirt and block behind the plate. And a nice job to keep the runners at bay as the count moves to two and two. Three balls and two strikes to the DH for the Red Sox. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. And that gets over the wall now, but both runners will score anyway. Now that at the plate, Mitch Moreland. And a jam shot here right. as this is sent towards second. And there's out number two. So the lineup flips over and digging in Jose Peraza. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. The one two breaks his bat as this one's popped up and he'll avoid the fragments out there to make the catch that ends the inning. So here's Jose Abreu 0 for 1 for him here in this one. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Pilar has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first out. The so the base is empty two. here with one away. Nomar. And that brings up the versatile Nomar, Nomar Mazzara. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. On to Moreland, and that's in time for the second out. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up Yasmani Grandal. One and one, here it comes. No runs, just one hit, and no errors so far for the White Sox. Nope. Uh, trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. Right side and right into the shift. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Now that second base, Danny Mendick. Into the box, Danny Mendick. Two and one. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. Here now the 2-2. This is popped up. 
Devers is there. And that retires the side. Ready once again, Alex Verdugo. Now the one and one pitch. Late on that one as it's foul off to the left side. Hit sharply, but foul down the right side. Ready to deliver the one and two. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Jimenez is in pursuit. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. So coming to the plate, J.D. Martinez. It was a solo shot for him in his last at-bat. Hit in the air to center field. Garcia is back, and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. Trying to pick things up where he left off, Xander Bogarts. He hit a two-bagger and later scored in his previous plate appearance. And he's got to build off that last A.B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. High in the air out to center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away. And that ends the inning. set for the start of the inning up next for Chicago Leori Garcia he's grounded out and lined out in two trips this is in the air to left field Martinez has a read on it one down stepping in okay. Johan Moncada he's one for two in this one Yohan. One one home. Every ball club has that spark plug guy, and this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. The two one tried to crush that ball, and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. He's set. Here's the two two. One of the things you want to do with a starter, get that pitch count up. Here's another productive at bat as this count now gets to three balls and two strikes. A swing and a miss. He offered it a ball way outside the strike zone for out number two. The batter at the plate, Tim Anderson. He flew out in his last at bat. Now the one and one pitch. Grounder down the line at third. No runs, two hits, and no errors so far for the White Sox. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Fastball just missed above the zone. This is skied out toward right. Chasing after it is Verdugo. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Dylan Seas is into the ball game now as he'll make his fifth appearance of the season here. Bottom of the inning now, ready for another shot now. Rafael Devers. He singled his last time up. The 2 1. Hit hard up the middle. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. Legs churning. He's headed for second. Now back, center fielder, Kevin Pilar. Stepping in now, Kevin Pilar. One and two as the changeup had him out in front there. To two balls and two strikes now. Hey, 
Here now the 2 2. Now a change up, but it misses just a little below the zone. Skied into straightaway right. And that's taken in straightaway right. Will he try from second? The tag, and they got him at third. It's a double play. Now that Digging in, Christian Vasquez. He came across to score after doubling in his last at bat. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next AB. The one two. Hit on the ground to third. Moncada fields it cleanly. On to Encarnacion at first, and that ends the inning. Ryan Brazier is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 70. Ryan. Standing in, Eloy Jimenez. It was a walk in his last trip. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. There's ball two as the slider dips below the zone. Hit hard on the ground to second. He's got it. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. The first base number now with the plate, Edwin Encarnacion. Edwin. He was a double Edwin. play victim last time around. He doesn't have to worry about that in this situation, Matty. No one on base right now. Try and get something up so you can drive the baseball. He loses him on ball four. Encarnacion leads off first with one away. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Call didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. So striding forward now, Nomar Mazzara. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. So here's Michael Chavis now, who drove in two runs on a double in his last at bat. Hit sharply on the ground. Scooped up, and a good throw gets him one gone. Into the box now, Mitch Moreland. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. The pitch. He pulls this one into right. He leaps, but he can't get it. It's down for extra bases. And he is in at second base with a one out double. The batter, number three, second baseman. And the plate now, Jose Peraza. Ah, he couldn't catch up with the gas that time. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Full count to Jose Peraza. One out and a runner on second base. Hit high in the air down the right field line. Headed after it is Mazzara. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Striding in, Alex Verdugo. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. The 1 1 is looked at for ball number two. That's bounced foul. It's two and two. Fouled off. Two out here and a runner at second. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning.
Wayne Hembry is into the ball game now as he'll make his fifth appearance of the season here. Number 37. Leading off the inning, Yusmani Grandal. And they'll need him to get something going here. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. And another foul ball. Hembry was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right-hander. Pilar has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first out. Now, Ready right. now, Danny Mendick. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. One out, nobody on. Count still at one and two. He got a mistake right there, but missed it. Can't foul that pitch off in a big spot. 0-2 count. Peter caught too much of the zone. And this is swung on and missed. Two are quickly retired to start inning number eight. Leori Garcia. Two and one count to the pale hose leadoff hitter. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Bogarts lays out. What a stop. Excellent effort, but no chance to make the play at first. Okay, That's a base hit. The third to the plate now, Johan Moncada. Here's a fly ball well hit. Verdugo looks up. Gone into the home bullpen for a home run. Brendan Workman enters the game in a save situation, but he'll be asked to get four outs here instead of the standard three. So now to the plate, Tim Anderson. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Striding into the box, Elo Jimenez. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. And a dive, but he's back in there. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. On the ground for the shortstop, Bogarts. Throw in time, and the side is retired. And that'll bring up J.D. Martinez. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Swung on and missed. One and two now. Bounce it to the left side. Anderson brings it in. And there's one away. Here's Xander Bogarts now. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. The 3 1. And a fastball misses there. Ball four. So a runner at first now with one away. And that brings up the third baseman, Rafael Devers. Oh, on the ground is short. Could this be two? To second for one. To Encarnacion, who's got it, and that retires the side. At the plate, Edwin Encarnacion, and his guys need him to get things started here in the top half of the ninth. Looking for base runners here as they're down two playing on the road. Not an easy. And he grooves the fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. And this one is gone. A home run. Standing in now, Jose Abreu. Down the first baseline. Moreland's there. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. 
Settling in now, Nomar Mazzara. One run in and one gone so far at this inning. A ball and two strikes now. The one two. Ball two. Hey, this isn't going to be an easy save. These guys are making them work for this one. And this ball is popped up. Drifting back behind the mound. Devers is there. Two down. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. One run game here in the top of the ninth. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Grandal with a three and one count now. Time to narrow your focus up there at the plate in a one-run game. He doesn't want to walk it, so there's a good chance he's going to get something to handle right here. And he lays off ball four, so now the potential time the run here is aboard late the in the game. Danny Mendez. Now the one-and-one one pitch. And there's a called strike two as now they're down to their final strike this afternoon. The White Sox down to their last strike. In the dirt here. But it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. A crowd in excess of 37,000 come to their feet. Now a swing and a fly ball. And this should do it. And he'll put this one away. And the Red Sox have come back to even up this series at a game apiece as this ball game is over. Yeah, they needed him a little bit earlier in this one. But he takes the mound in the eighth and records the final four outs. Four out save. Job well done. A one run finish, four to three, the final tally today. Boston took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Hector Velasquez takes the win on the mound, his second of the year, permitting only two hits in six complete innings. Brandon Workman gets a four out save, his fourth of the season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for this afternoon's ball game for the victorious Boston Red Sox. Four runs, seven hits, no errors. They left five men on base. For the White Sox, three runs, five hits, no errors. They left eight men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 58 minutes. Our Fenway Park paid attendance this afternoon. 37,755. We'd like to thank the Red Sox Nation for their continuing support. And remind you to please drive home safely.